All right, so I am here with the Black Widow. Let's talk about it. Let's go through it and see what we think. All right, so I am here with the Black Widow key machine, and um, I'm really excited to talk about it with you, talk about some of the cool features about it, hopefully answer a few questions, and most importantly, cut a key, right? Because why else would we talk about a key machine without cutting a key? But um, before I do, I just wanna make a few quick points. And the first is, is that I'm gonna be using the Black Widow Deluxe. Now, this is the machine that comes with the tablet and the stand and the single-sided jaw and all that kind of stuff. But um, as far as the software goes, it's all the same and let's kind of run it through its paces. I'll do a separate video kind of uh, really doing some Q&A about a few things, but um, let's keep on track here. All right, so when you're looking at the um, screen here, so this is the home screen for the Black Widow. Uh, of course, you can kind of see everything on here. So the, the good part is that the software, no matter what package you buy, the software here is going to be the same. Um, if you buy the essentials package, then you're just gonna have to buy extra JAWS and such. I really wanna hop into the software a little bit and I wanna kinda of talk about it in the way that um, I would really use it in real life and probably how you would use it as well. Now, of course, you can go, you know, you can click on cars, look up, you know, Honda, um, and go through all of those kind of steps as well, of course. Um, as well as standard keys, you could look up Schlage or whatever it might have you and that um, as well. But I wanna get into like maybe how you think of it, how I kind of think of it, and what maybe it would look like more in a real life situation. So I'm gonna go up here to the search menu and um, I'm just gonna hit search, okay? And this is where um, you can kind of learn a few different things here. So the first is you can see these different ones here. You can search by key blank, by card number, by blitz card number, and the uh, laser key products depth and space uh, info here. But um, so let's go back to key blank and let's do a couple of different things here. So let's look up, uh, let's say we're gonna work, we're working with a H75 key, a Ford H75. So we wanna go in here, we type in H75 and then you can see you can pop it up right here with the top one, Ilco, and it's gonna bring up this info. Now I'll get up to this in a minute, but I wanna stay back on track here. So. To look up a key blank, that's how you would do it there. Or let's say you were gonna look up a Honda key, maybe like a H, let's put it in here, H O O one, right? And you could find it that way as well, okay? And it would pull it up. Now, let's say um, if you were, maybe you're coming from a Blitz, like a HPC Blitz machine to a Black Widow. Something cool here is the, the Blitz card. And so let's say like, you know, probably most likely if you have a blitz machine, you've memorized the card numbers or at least the popular ones. And so let's say you wanna work with an H75 and you know that it's a uh, 101, right? Or a CX 101, but a 101. So you can just type in 101 up here, click on CX and boom, here it is. It's pulled up and it's ready to go. So um, one thing it's important to note when you go back here is that there is no place to actually look up just the code direct. So you're gonna have to look it up um, by key blank or by blitz card number, however you want to do that. Or of course, by the make model year um, as well. But um, anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and let's uh, hop in here and let's talk about it a little bit. Now, it probably, um, when you look at this screen, um, it really has a lot of good and simple information, pretty easy to understand here. It's gonna tell you the jaw to use. It kind of gives you a little key picture there. We can look down here, we can do progression with it. We can input a code, for example, let's click on that. And so let's say the code um, on this H75 was a 1706X. So we type that in, we hit search, and boom, here we go. It's gonna pop it up. You can see all the bidding there, and you're gonna be, you can hit, uh, put the key in, hit cut, you're good to go here. Um, you can also decode as well, right? So you can pull up the, uh, the, the card, and you can hop in here, and you can decode a, an existing key if you want. And then lastly here, you can um, click input and then you can just direct put in the biddings um, if you desire. 
So that's some of the uh, cool, really basic features of this. Okay, let's go back here to the search again. And let's go search. And so I wanna look up something two different ways for you really quick here on like a standard key. So let's say you need to cut an SC1. Your couple options here, you could go in here to the standard, go up here to manufacturer, type in Schlage or Schlage for fun, and then click on, uh, you know, SC1, SC4, and um, there's no year info, it's gonna pop it up, and um, you can tell it if it's a five or a six pin, let's go five, and then here we are. Okay, we're gonna bring to that same screen, it's gonna tell us um, what jaw to use, I have a picture of the key, and um, same all the decode, code, input, progression, all of that fun stuff. Now, um, let's go back, okay, so that's one way you can look it up, or you can go back to the home screen here, and you can click in uh, search, search, go to key blank, and then type in SC1, okay, and you can pull it up this way as well. So, so I want to give you like if you were doing a real job, like what would that actually look like to um, input and use? Now, of course, we have to cut a key, have a little bit of fun with it. Um, and um, so I went, I went ahead and just grabbed a uh, key in knob cylinder and uh, we can cut a quick Schlage key just for fun here. So. Um, on this key here, okay, I already have the bidding, so we'll just go ahead and put the uh, bidding in put here. So of course, we don't want to put the code in because it's not an actual like key code, code series. It's actually just going to be a direct input. So we're going to click on input. And we're going to put this in here. Let's see. We're going to go eight, three, one, three, two. Okay, just like that, we're gonna click OK. Now, this is some of the other fun features that I wanna talk about here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click. So I already have the S2 um, jaw in here. Um, got it nice and cleaned off from the last key I cut. Um, and um, so let's click Cut, and then let's talk about this for a minute. Okay, so as you know, if you've watched any of my other videos when it comes to key machines, and one of the main reasons I like the uh, uh, Triton so much, fun fact, the Black Widow and the Triton are made by the uh, same company, right? So uh, the jaws are the same, the cutters are the same, pretty cool. But um, when you look at this screen here, okay, this is really cool to me because you can choose between the 1.5, 2, and 2.5, why is that important? Let's say you make an oopsie or you lose something, you can still get the job done by grabbing one of your other cutters, right? Absolutely love it. Now it's this program with the two millimeter, really popular, um, just using the two millimeter for stuff, so you can put that in. Um, that's a really, really good feature, especially when life happens and you have to get a little creative sometimes. Next up is gonna be the access speed, okay? Um, you've seen some videos where I talk about, in particular with high security keys, some of the factory keys are steel. If a key is steel and you need to cut it, right, it's not ideal with these brass cutters. So, so what you have to do is you have to slow it down. You don't wanna cut it as fast. And so, so what you would do is I'd probably take that from a, a five down to a two or a three and kind of really give the cutter a chance to uh, make it through, so to speak. So that's really cool, really good feature. Cut shape as well. Um, you can choose between more of like a laser type, type cut or a standard type cut as well, right? Decoder, you have a couple options there as well. So that's really cool, really good features. You know, it's important that we have as much tolerance as possible um, when the perfect situation doesn't work. And so having these options, absolutely awesome. Another cool part, especially as you get going here, if you look up at this, uh, at this little jaw here, it's really, or this image of the uh, jaw, you can really see where they want you to align it, which is pretty self-explanatory, but it's nice to have a little bit of exploded view there. All right, so let's go ahead here and let's get this uh, key cut, have a little fun. Let's put the, make sure a little, uh, or move this over. I got my uh, SC1 key right here. Let's go ahead and put it in. All right, good to go. Put the little uh, shield up and hit cut. Now, of course, while this is cutting, just a, a quick fun fact, you always want to watch and see how it's calibrating. If you have shavings or anything um, in there, um, it's not going to calibrate right, it's going to mess up your key. So always watch. If there's one thing you do, 
is watch while it's calibrating, if not the whole time. So, all right, let it do its thing. All right, so it's done here. Let me just try to shake that off a little bit. Grab the key. I always like to immediately, so I don't get in trouble here, is always just uh, brush that off while I'm thinking about it before I get too carried away. All right, so we got the key here. We got the cylinder. Let's see. Boom. There we go, that's what we like. So that's a basic overview of the Black Widow. I'll be doing other videos, kind of deep diving into different features and areas, having fun, challenging it a little bit. But most importantly, I think if you're looking at getting a Black Widow or up upgrading your current key machine to an electronic one, I think it's really important to understand this menu, understand how it works and kind of what it would look like um, when you get it and get it set up, so. And of course, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Well, I guess this is the end of the video and it's time for you and I to part ways until next time. But hey, before you go, I really do wanna make sure that you know that when you comment on our videos and you include the hashtag LockBoss, you automatically get hooked up to win cool stuff that we give away live here on YouTube every Tuesday. So we'd love to have you join us. We'd love to have you comment and I look forward to reading them soon.